Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson and my channel is all about teaching you how to sell print on demand t-shirts and sweatshirts on Etsy. This is a great business model if you haven't heard of it yet, where you get to design the designs that actually go on the shirt. Then another company, which is Printify, my favorite print provider, actually prints the item, sends it to your customer, and even updates the tracking number for you. So it is such an easy and accessible business for anyone to start from home. I'll go ahead and link down below some startup videos that I have. But in today's video, I wanna focus on creativefabrica.com. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that's my favorite place to get graphics and fonts for my print-on-demand business. They have over 4 million graphics and fonts that you can use for your print-on-demand business. That way you can make tons of beautiful and unique designs to sell on your t-shirts and stand out in the Etsy search results. But the biggest question I get with Creative Fabrica is how do I actually edit the designs that are already made? And so that's what we're going to go over in this video. First, I've got this really cute graphic here of two little Christmas mugs, and I'm gonna show you how to actually erase the words so you can put different words to it. And then lastly, I'll show you how to actually upload a font from Creative Fabrica into Canva, my design software of choice, and I'll show you how to actually edit it to make some of these cool collegiate fonts, kind of like the Harvard font that are curved across the chest. So you can start selling those in your store today. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll show you how to do all of that. And if you haven't signed up for Creative Fabrica just yet, I do have a link in the description for a $1 for your first month's trial. And then you actually get a discount of $19 per month forever from using my code instead of $29 per month. So feel free to go ahead and click the link in the description and follow along with this tutorial. Like I said, the other software that we're going to need for this tutorial today is going to be Canva. This is my favorite design software to use to make all of my designs. If you're like me and you've never been a designer before, never used Photoshop before, then do not worry. You do not need to be a designer to design t-shirts and sell them on the internet. So all you need is Canva. I would recommend having Canva Pro. I do have a link in the description for a free month's trial if you wanted to give them a try. But then after that, it is only $12.99 per month. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So you'll come to canva.com. You'll go ahead and click create a design. Then for my t-shirt designs, I like to come down here to custom size. And I like to use 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I'll go ahead and click create new design. So this is going to open up a Canva canvas for us to make our designs with. So what I want you to think of is this white box here is actually the t-shirt design area. So where my design actually is on my sweatshirt right now. And fun fact, this is actually a design I got from Creative Fabrica. I just thought it was so cute. I had to get it on a sweatshirt for myself and make sure to stay tuned because I will be doing a review of these sweatshirts and hoodies on Printify soon. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, if you wanna get notified of that video. So I went ahead and downloaded those graphics and fonts that I showed you in Creative Fabrica. So now we need to get them over into Canva. So all you need to do is open up your downloads folder, and then you're gonna go ahead and open up that design. So for this one here, you got a whole pack that came with it, but the one we're using for this example is this have a cup of cheer, two little hot chocolates. And we'll go ahead and just drop this into Canva and it's all uploaded. And then to upload your font, that's actually a little bit of a different spot. So let's go down here to this text button and we're gonna go ahead and click the untitled brand kit. You're gonna click edit. So go ahead and click upload a font and here you wanna go ahead and click the OTF file. So some of them come with multiple versions. This one comes with three. It has the shadow around the background, it has the black font, and it also has the outline. So you can go ahead and upload all three just by hitting control on a regular computer and selecting them or command on a MacBook and then selecting them and go ahead and click upload. 
So now Canva is going to have you confirm that you have the rights to use this font, which all the fonts on Creative Fabrica do come with a commercial license. So you'll go ahead and say yes, upload anyways. And now these are going to be uploaded into your font library on Canva. So let's start with showing you how to erase things from a design. So I'll come here to my uploads folder and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this design and drag it into my canvas here. So again, this is the full t-shirt design space that we are designing on. So we can go ahead and make this a little bit larger and then you can watch for this little purple line here in the middle to make sure that your design is actually centered or you can even hit this position button and click center if it's not and that will center it for you. There's two ways that you can actually cut the words off of a design. The first way is you can grab these little boxes here on the side of where the design area is, and you can pull this up to actually crop the words out of the design. But in this particular case, we'd actually be chopping off his foot as well. So that's not the best option for this one. So the other way is to actually use the erase tool. You might be wondering, I didn't think there was an erase tool in Canva, but I will show you where it's hiding. So what you'll do is make sure you're actually selected on the graphic. Go ahead and click edit image. And here, to be able to access it, you need to click this background remover button. So this will actually remove the full background of an image, any image that you have. But in this case, since it was a transparent PNG, then it will do nothing. But what it does do after that is gives you an erase tool to touch up what it may not have done a good enough job with. So here you'll see this erase tool right here for your brush and you can actually select how big or small you see there in the middle how big the actual brush size is and you can go ahead and actually just erase the words here on the design. Then we'll come down here and erase the bottom. So when you've erased every part of the design that you want, then you'll go ahead and click this done button up here to confirm that that's how you want it. So now you have this really cute graphic without any words that you can add your own words to instead. Now let's go ahead and add our own text to this image. We'll go ahead and click the T button on our keyboard. It's the fastest way to add text. And we'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to try and design this like one of the personalized hot cocoa mugs that are super popular on Etsy right now. So the whole idea of this is you're going to add a child's name here. So we'll do Jesse, but we want to do a cuter font. So I'll go ahead and use a vintage -y looking font. Uh, one that I love from Creative Fabrica is this Peace and Love font. And if you want to go ahead and make it all capitals, you can click these three little dots over here and click this uppercase button. And then now this will be all uppercase instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and put Jesse's name up here at the top. And then I might want to actually go ahead and curve it a little bit as well. So you can click this effects button, come down here to curve. And then I don't want it quite that curved. So I'm going to go ahead and space it out a little bit. And then I actually think the letters are too close together. So I'm going to click this spacing button right here and go ahead and edit how close together the letters are. So they're a little bit better spaced out just for this example, at least. And I like the way that looks. So let's go ahead and actually edit the colors as well. So when you click on it, you can highlight one letter and click the colors. And if you come down here to the bottom of the color options, it will show you the colors in the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and do every other letter being a different color and being the colors from the actual image. And there you have it, a super cute personalized hot cocoa mug that you can go ahead and add this design to a mug and sell in your store today. One other fun tip for you, if you want to make sure that your letters stand out, so you can go ahead and click on the actual font that you have here and duplicate it. And so then you can put this font directly over top of the other one, but with the effects, you can go ahead and actually click hollow on the top layer. And so this, you can edit how much the thickness is for the letters, make sure that it's actually put right on top. If you're having a trouble like I am actually lining it up, you can actually use your arrow keys on your keyboard to get it all lined up nice. 
and then you can actually change the color of this one here to something like, say, black. So now those letters really pop against the white mug that I'm planning on putting it on. So now let's go ahead and show you how to use that collegiate font that I downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and add some text here and we're just going to type something like Christmas just as an example and let's go ahead and use that college block font that we just downloaded here. So this one you can see already has a nice kind of shadow on it that's really fun. And then you can go ahead and change the colors to say one of those more Christmassy colors that you had. You can use the effects and you can curve it. Again, we can change the amount that the design is curved. We can edit the distance between them. But this is a really cute and popular design style. I wouldn't necessarily recommend making a design that just says Christmas, but you can do a lot of types of fun designs using this font. One other option is we can go ahead and change this to the font that doesn't have the shadow around it. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this font and we can do the same effect like we did before. We can go ahead and hit hollow and then we'll go ahead and put that on top and we can change this to a different color to give it a more defined look when you're looking to do those collegiate fonts. Sometimes the collegiate fonts even have a thicker kind of look to them, more like a school to really draw in the attention of the blockiness of the letters. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in how to actually download and use Creative Fabrica fonts and how to edit fully pre-made designs on Creative Fabrica so you can use pieces of them to make your own unique designs based off of what you see is already successful on Etsy. Again, I do have a link down in the description for a $1 trial for Creative Fabrica for your first month and 30 days free trial for Canva. And if you're not sure what to design for this year, I did also just release my niche calendar for the entire year. I have 47 different niches in there that you can design for throughout the entire year, when to post them, when the due dates are, and some tips and tricks along the way. So that is available down in the description below. If you're ever feeling lost on what to design and when, how to be ready for holidays in advance, then that is going to be the thing that will help you immensely Immensely. So go ahead and check that out down below if you're interested, but thank you so much for staying all the way until the end and we'll see you in the next one.